gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Who's tending the store? <laughs> Connie Horner and ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the White House. We've assembled today to, if some of you think that's strange, I always have to explain that. I had to have it explained to me that, that they technically call this the White House. I know we're across the street. <laughs> But uh, we're assembled here today to honor the best of our senior executive service. Those of you who on whom it is my privilege to bestow distinguished presidential rank awards. You know, any administration, even one that lasts eight years, is keenly aware of the ticking of the clock and the calendar pages flipping by as it strives to achieve what it's set out to accomplish. Each president, each administration is a rendezvous with Father Time. Father Time, I, did, I went to school with him. He was a classmate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the clock is ticking, and even as our administration has called for government to play a more limited role in American life, we've worked hard to see that government performs its legitimate functions with greater diligence and efficiency. It's men and women like you who have made this vital effort successful. At Treasury and Justice, in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, at Agriculture, NASA, and so many others, you've become shining examples of individuals who have delivered on the promises of the government uh, to the American people. Now, time won't permit me to discuss each of your achievements, but I do want to mention just at least a few. One of you's fought crime by developing a program to help cut drug smuggling in Miami. Another helped put Americans on the moon and is now working to make NASA's space station a reality. Several of you have made advances of critical importance to our national uh, defense. And at this time of battles to bring deficit spending under control, I have to point out that several of you have saved our taxpayers major sums. One, a financial officer at the Agency for International Development, saved the government more than four and a half million dollars. An award winner at Treasury is credited with saving taxpayers $12 million. And an award winner in the Navy pioneered changes that it's estimated will save some $300 million. And you know, even in Washington, $300 million is real money. <laughs> but even more important than these specific savings and advances, each of you has provided an example and inspiration to others in the civil service to work hard and to be more conscientious of the great trust that is shared by all in public service. Through your personal achievement, you whom we offer honor today have improved the lives of millions of your fellow citizens throughout our nation. And these awards represent the appreciation that each of us feels for you having accomplished so much for so many. On behalf of all Americans, permit me to offer my heartfelt congratulations on a job well done Thank you all, and God bless you. And now, Connie, if you'll get up here and do your chore, I'll step over here and do mine. All right. All right. Thank you. And it's a wonderful chore. We'll now call forward the award winners one by one to receive their awards from the President. From the Department of Agriculture, R. Max Anderson. Excuse me. That was Max Peterson. <laughs> From the Agency for International Development, Curtis W. Christensen. From the Department of Commerce, John A. Simpson. From the Defense Communications Agency, David A. Israel. From the Department of the Air Force, Arthur H. Gunther. From the Department of the Navy, Richard C. Armstrong. Army, that was, excuse me. From the Department of the Navy, James E. Colvard. 
also from Navy, Angelo J. DiMascio. Anthony R. DiTrapani. And from Navy, Richard L. Haver. From the Department of Energy, Robert M. Forsell. From the Environmental Protection Agency, Valdis V. Adamkus. From the Federal Communications Commission, James C. McKinney. From the Department of Health and Human Services, Ruth L. Kirstein. From the Department of Housing and Urban Development, two winners, Robert I. Dodge III and William Y. Nishimura. From the Department of Justice, John C. Keeney. Three award winners from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, Gerald D. Griffin. Samuel W. Keller. And Andrew J. Stofan. From the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, Guy H. Cunningham. From the Office of Management and Budget, Naomi R. Sweeney. From the Office of Personnel Management, James W. Morrison, Jr. From the Securities and Exchange Commission, two winners, Kenneth M. Fogash and Alexia L. Morrison. From the Department of State, Michael G. Kozak. From the Department of Transportation, Barry Fellrice. From the Department of Treasury, three winners, Robert N. Batard, Marjorie Waxman, and Larry G. Westfall. And finally, from the United States Information Agency, Stanley M. Silverman. Stanley M. Silverman. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Charlie. <laughs> well, then got one left over. I don't know. Is, is Stanley Silverman here? Is Stanley? Come on, Stanley. Come up and get. You got it. You do you know we have two for you. You must have done a wonderful job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I see. He had the wrong oh, I see. This is important, and we're going to get it right. <laughs> Thank you again, Mr. President. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, next year I'll be giving one to someone who straightens out the. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.